may I now move to category two. And category two is the award for the most impactful alima. And to uh, give this award, may I introduce and invite um, online to Sahar Zahid. Um, Sahar Zahid is an experienced teacher. Um, she has demonstrated working in both the state sector and the independent sector. She holds a master's degree in education and middle leadership qualification in whole school pedagogy. Sahar is, uh, has also been the main chairperson for Moroccan youth for over 13 years now. That is phenomenal service to the community. And she has provided also impactful educational programs um, in London. She has also been a trustee of a major uh, masjid mosque in London and she ultimately becoming its chairperson, um, holding extensive experience in the running of a mosque institution. Welcome Sister Zahar to British Beacon Mosque Awards uh, 2021. We look forward to listening to your thoughts uh, on this uh, award of the most impactful alima. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you for your generous introduction. Whilst I would love for us to be together this evening, it is safer and wiser that we meet virtually instead. And so welcome to you all in my home once again. It is an honor to be a judge at the British Beacon Mosque Awards for the fourth year running. I strongly believe that these awards not only allow us to showcase all that is good in our places of worship, but also highlights the need for these places and those people behind them to be celebrated. They need to be hailed for the examples they are so other mosques can follow in their examples. The category I am announcing today seeks to award a alima that has shown through her work positive impact in her mosque and in the surrounding community. Alimats are the guardians, the transmitters, and the interpreters of religious knowledge in Islam. And within this context, there is a serious conversation that needs to be had around the role of the alima in Muslim institutions. Traditionally, the role of the alima has never been one of formal employment within the mosques and the Islamic centers. But given the growth of the Muslim population here in the UK and the increasing number of Muslim women and girls pursuing formal religious education, coupled with the increasing social pressures and socially taboo issues affecting young Muslim girls, the role of the alima has become crucial and one that needs to be formally recognized and rewarded. To be sure, since the earliest Muslim community, Muslims have benefited from women scholars who help, helped found sustain and transmit a scholarly tradition. Women scholars articulating and transmitting religious knowledge is not a feature of Western style modernity that Muslims adopted in a moment of enlightenment and as a response to modern women's rights discourse, but something that has long been in our tradition. And to that effect, I am pleased that tonight, our elements are being recognized for the exemplary but necessary work they are doing. It is my pleasure to announce that the shortlist. It is my pleasure to announce that the shortlist of the Alimas for this award are.
MashaAllah, I think we can all agree we have a great deal to learn from them. But tonight, the British Beacon Mosque Award 2021 for the most impactful Alima Award is awarded to Maysoon Shafiq from Al Mu'minun Huddersfield. Congratulations to you on being awarded this award of most impactful Alima. Um, it is the, your opportunity now, obviously, to say a few words and perhaps share a few lessons of what drives you, inspires you, and encourages you to do all this great work. Jazakumullah khair. Thank you so much. Assalatu wassalamu alaikum ya Rasulullah. Assalatu wassalamu alaikum ya Habibullah. I am absolutely honoured and I share this award with the teachers of Al-Murqiz al-Islami who have taught me what I know today um, and all the women who are working hard and striving in the path of knowledge and trying to spread the deen. Um, the aim is, inshallah, just as it was said at the beginning, um, to um, contribute, inshallah, somewhat in a little way um, to make a Medina model. Um, hopefully I am successful with the ultimate, ultimate goal, which I I think it resonates with all the ustads, all the alimas, all the alims is inshallah to um, have the deeds accepted, have it as sadqajariya and attain the ultimate goal of uh, Jannah inshallah. So jazakumullah khair, thank you for this award. I'm absolutely, absolutely gobsmacked and I think um, I'll have a bit of a cry afterwards because I was not expecting this at all. So jazakumullah khair, thank you so much. Jazakumullah uh, khair and many congratulations to you. Um, also, Jazakumullah sister Sahar for uh, spending your time with us and sharing your thoughts with us, very thought-provoking points that you had raised earlier on. Perhaps you'd like to have a final say um, and um, then we will have to move on to the next award. Sister Sahar, any final point that you'd like to say very quickly? Jazakallah khairan and many, many congratulations to Sister Maison. MashaAllah, watching the clip, I did get tearful. Alhamdulillah for the wonderful work that is taking place. It is necessary, and I say this as someone who works in education uh, and youth service, it is necessary. We need more beacons like this. And all I hope from our shortlisted candidates, but also our winners, inshallah, is they share what the work they are doing, how they do it, and that we get more and more of this wonderful service happening all across the UK. Jazakallah khairan for having me again. Jazakumullah, Sister Sahar, and congratulations again to Sister Maysoor.